We've opened the booster program to every adult who's had a second dose of the vaccine at least three months ago to offer them the chance of getting their booster before the new year. So from this morning, anyone over 18 can walk into a vaccination centre and from Wednesday, they can book online via the NHS website. The UK government will also provide whatever support is needed to accelerate vaccinations in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. We have the jobs, the challenge now, that we have the jabs, the challenge now is to get them into the arms. To meet our ambitious target, the NHS will need to deliver a record number of jabs. Until now, the highest number of jabs that we've delivered in a single day in the UK was over 840,000. We'll now, we'll not only need to match that, but we will need to beat that every day. But we can, and we've got a plan to try and do it. We're opening more vaccination sites, including pop-up and mobile sites, that'll be working seven days a week. We're training thousands more volunteer vaccinators. We're asking GPs and pharmacies to do more. And we're drafting in 42 military planning teams across every region of our country. Mr. Speaker, this collective national mission will only succeed if we all play our part. Those who haven't had their booster should find their local walk-in and vaccination centre, or they can book an appointment in the, on the NHS website from Wednesday. Those who have had their booster jab should encourage their friends and family to do the same. Those who have or have recently had COVID should wait 28 days from their positive result to get their booster. And to those who haven't had their vaccine at all yet, Mr. Speaker, I would like to say this. Whatever has held you back in the past, please think again and book your jab as quickly as possible. By acting together to get boosted now, we can protect ourselves against Omicron this winter. Mr. Speaker, I acknowledge that our national mission comes with some difficult trade-offs. We are redeploying NHS staff away from non-urgent services. This means that for the next two weeks, all primary care services will focus on urgent clinical needs and vaccines, and some urgent appointments and elective surgeries may be postponed until the new year, while we prioritise getting people the booster. These are steps that no health secretary would wish to take unless they were absolutely necessary. But I'm convinced that if we don't prioritise the booster now, the health consequences will be far more grave in the months that lie ahead.